Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. So Smartsheet is a fantastic platform that introduces many people to the power of automations. And a question we get asked a lot by our clients is whether we can customise or personalise these automations rather than them coming from the via Smartsheet address. I've done a separate video on custom email domains where you can add your company email to the automation address, but this video takes it to another level where you can send emails that are generated from your account with your branding, with your personalization, as you want them. So for this, I've used a third party platform called Zapier, which is incredibly easy to use and comes with a huge number of um, integrations and automations between Smartsheet and other platforms, as you can see here on the screen. And so it's well worth checking out if you don't already know about it. Now it does come with a monthly fee. You can see 14 day trial, etc. But much like Smartsheet, the value you can get out of it far outweighs the cost. So let's have a look at what I mean. So if I take an automation here that's come from Smartsheet, this is now saying it's coming from, from Rich Coles via Smartsheet. So again, this is a way of doing it, but it, it's not quite branded. It's not quite got the look and feel I want on this bit. So it's come via, via Smartsheet. What I'm gonna do in this case though, is show you end results, which will be personalized. So let's go into this bit. I've already shown you Zapier and within Zapier, what you do is you choose the integration you want. And here I've chosen Smartsheet and there's a variety of things you can do in, with Smartsheet in Zapier. So you can say when a new attachment comes or a new comment or a new row or update a row, and that can trigger off certain things here. So in this case, what have I done? I've actually set one up already, which I'm just gonna whiz through to give you a sense. But I've said when a new row comes into Smartsheet, what I want it to do is to then send an email in, in Gmail on that bit. So I've linked it to my account already. Um, I've already chosen what it is, as in this is a new line coming in. And in terms of what I want it to link up to, I want it to link to a particular sheet. So this sheet here is called the Demo Advanced Apps. And what I've done is I've gone to the sheet down here, I've gone and I've got found the sheet ID for this on here. So as I go back to the this bit here, I've linked the sheet and I, I can refresh the fields, I test it and it brings, it brings through the data. And what you can do is it's bringing through various fields from that sheet already here. So this is a test as I go through. So once I've got that set up, I then say, well, what do I want to happen next? Well, I want it to send an email in Gmail. So really this is a two-step process. So if I click onto here, again, I've already got it set up. I've linked it to my Gmail account. I've said, what do I want to happen? Send an email. So that's where I've linked it to the account. And then what I've done is in here, I've set up what I want it to do. And so you can see, if I could just scroll down to the bottom here and um, further down, is in terms of the fields um, that are down here. So what I'm doing in here is you can see they've entered certain information. So I'm gonna say, who do I want to send it to? And I'm going, well, these are the fields that's pulled through. So I'm going, well, I want to send it to the person who sent me the inquiry. So here is Demo Productive. So, and then what I want it to do is to say, well, who's it gonna come from? It's gonna come from me. And on this one, your smart sheet inquiry, um, I'm going to do the text as body or, or plain or HTML. So here I've had to learn my first bit of coding, but I've also been able to add in the fields from the sheet. So I've said, hi, first name, and then I've written and I've got various coding in here, um, which you know, it's the first coding I've learned um, on that bit, but what you'll see in the output. And then this goes back to my signature and attachments. So I haven't put any attachments in because I've provided a link on this bit. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to test it. So if I retest the action, what it's going to do is it's going to send this email and this email has just been sent to the account here. So if I go back to my inbox here, you can see your Smartsheet inquiry. If we click on it, hi demo, many thanks for your interest and request for more information on Smartsheet apps. Please click and, down and to download the file, Productive Smartsheet apps overview, trust file useful, etc. And then you've got the signature block, etc. So this has come from here. Um, so if I just go back one step from this piece as well, and just here you go, there's the link which links into this piece. So again, this is how you can send through, this is an attachment which is here. I'll put a link to this in case you want to download and, and have the sheet and have a play around with this anyway. So if I just go back to the overall sheet, what is happening here is this is the sheet that people are sending um, a request into. So let me just go back up to 
and smart sheets here so someone can fill out the form on this basis and so i've already pre-filled it out demo productive is going to send this request in i want to personalize my smart sheet confirm you um, and that will let us um, store your data with GDPR, yes. And please do send us a lot more information about Smartsheet because we love Smartsheet. So person submits, um, they obviously need to find squares with motorcycles, this is fun. That hasn't got motorcycle in, but that has, and hopefully this works. Great, so thanks for getting in touch. We'll email you shortly. What will happen as a result of that is this sheet will be refreshed. So you can see the new items come in here. And what that's gonna do is because of the app which I've got set up in here, when a new row comes in, that'll be triggered. It will send that email. And again, so if I was just to press, press this again, this is, again, I'm just doing this in a test environment, but if I retest that action, that email will come in. It sends the email automatically. We go back to the email box for um, my account here. And if I go back to inbox, you can see this is the new email which has then just come in. Um, on that basis. So that's what how the process works. And fantastic way to integrate your own personal marketing or way you reply to this. Now, as yet, you can't attach attachments in this process. Um, so if you've got an attachment on a sheet, you can't attach that to the, um, the email as yet. It's something which I'm looking into and working on because I'd love to be able to attach a PDF um, document which has been created such an invoice be fantastic if anyone has cracked that already please do let me know and um, i'd love to share that with with more people um, i'm sure there are ways of doing it so again it's a uh, keen to show people what you can do and uh, inspire you with what fantastic things smart sheet can be achieved so there we go a bit of zapier with productive and with smart sheet trust that's been useful thanks for watching bye for now